Now, the artifact of my life is poor, let's agree, of dismal quality, ludicrous to celebrate, a wasted life. Still, and here's the crux of my message to you across these strange days, these earnest pages, and the crux of my limbo itself. Inside me were unexpressed forces. Because surely self-respect comes not from what we do, but from what we feel we could do. It's this reserve power, these unseen strengths, that I must toast farewell. Forces within us like the gases of the sun, whose burn we occasionally feel, whose barbarous and perfect edge we sometimes see at play in a nimbus, whose wholesale unleashing might have led us anywhere but where we are. Forces tepidly called potential when a child dies. Forces which are the only part of me I will miss. Because look at it, my friend. All that has ever been called love of life is a love of things that won't happen, a love of dreams. And so I will toast unspent forces in both of us. I will toast and shed a tear for all that we were not. For this reason, and not for simple exuberance, our farewell dinner should be as splendid as anything since the fall of Rome. A feast of Trimalchio, a night of the Satyricon, a limbo that blisters all restraint, a cone of nimbus so high and clear that stars are sucked inside it. There, last intimate friend, we will live. There we will rise up and shine, free for once from our cage, in honour of all that we were not, but might have been.